Welcome. The subject of this video is how to build a Darlington Transistor H-Bridge motor control to be used with Arduino, PIC, or PICX, or any other hobby microcontroller. I am your host, Louis Laughlin. Please visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. This video assumes, assumes that you have some knowledge of what a Darlington transistor is. If you want to find out more about that, see my video on Darlington transistor switches. An H-bridge is simply a set of switches used to alter the polarity on a permanent magnet motor, thus changing the direction of rotation. In this case, what you're seeing here, and this actually does work, are a couple of single pole double throw switches I robbed out of some microwave ovens and hooked up as shown. As long as you got switch one and you got switch two, as long as the switches are different, one goes to normally open and the other goes to normally closed on either side, I get a current flow as shown by the arrows, negative to positive, and the motor will go forward or, or reverse. Current flow in these explanations is from negative to positive. In the past, of course, they used mechanical switches or even relays, as shown above. Today, we use bipolar or MOSFET transistors. Here, we're going to use bipolar transistors in the Darlington configuration and we'll look at how to extend this to even using uh, non-Darlington transistors. We're going to be using the TIP120 and 125. These are known as complementary transistors. That is, they have identical electrical specs such as gain, current carrying capability, voltage ratings, and so forth, but their electrical polarities are opposite. Briefly look here at the picture on the left. You notice the arrows point down towards the emitter. That immediately tells you that is an NPN Darlington pair. How a Darlington works is the current generated by the transistor connected to the base um, feeds current into the main output transistor. And you notice inside the uh, Darlington transistor case, pictured here, is a noise suppressor diode. Look on your right, we got the TIP125. This is a PNP Darlington, and you notice the arrows are reversed, noting that these are PNP transistors. And you notice that compared to the 120, the diode is completely reversed. Like I said, they work the same but their electrical polarities are reversed and we can use that to our advantage. Alright, let's remember a few things. An Arduino is a negative ground system and its I.O. pins put out 5 volts. If I just wanted to use a TIP120, and I'm, this is just a brief review of Darlington transistors, I apply 5 volts to the, uh, the base emitter junction through a current limiting resistor I will switch on the TIP120 from emitter to base and it's like pushing a switch and the motor will run. That's simple. Um, if you want to go by this, this is a 1 amp motor. The TIP120, besides a collector current of 5 amps, uh, has a gain of 1000. HFE being the, the amount of gain from the current in the emitter will be multiplied to produce current on the collector. In this, <coughs> excuse me, in this case, um, if we have one amp uh, divided by uh, a thousand, that's one milliamp. All we need is one milliamp from the Arduino, and it works. I used a 2.2k resistor which would give me 1.7 milliamps. That's to make sure that I have sufficient current to make sure the transistor switch that I'm using the TIP4 or Q1 switches totally on. Here's a review of the TIP125 Darlington. 
it has to because it is an opposite polarity its emitter has to go to VCC as where the TIP 120's emitter went to ground okay um, this leaves us with a voltage of 10.8 volts on the base I cannot connect this directly to Arduino I'll blow it so I'm going to use a NPN transistor as a uh, switch to handle the higher voltage and it's the same thing I can use another 2.2 K resistor for the input um, that current is multiplied by 100 if you get down to it the current amplification capability of these two transistors added together is something like a hundred thousand you won't get that your current is limited by the motor which is in this example drawing three amps so that's a basic review of the NPN Darlington which is on the ground side we also call this a sink and the PNP Darlington on the high side which we call source now if we connect the collector of, of the TIP 125 to the collector of the TIP 120 we get this this is your basic working H bridge configuration here is the uh, TIP 125 circuit here's the TIP 120 circuit down here I have four inputs A, B, C, and D. Purple designates that the transistors are on, yellow designates that it's off. So what have we got here? A is high, it switches on Q5, which switches on Q1 and delivers 12 volts to the plus side of the motor. B is low so Q3 is turned off it does nothing it's just sitting there on the other side on C C is low Q6 is turned off Q2 is turned off but D is high turning on Q4 which connects the negative side of the motor to ground so now I have a complete current path for the motor from ground negative to positive through Q4 through the motor through Q1 back to VCC and the motor moves in the forward direction let's do this a little differently now in this case um, A is low turning off Q5 and Q1 B is high turns on Q3 switching this side the plus side of the motor to ground go over here to C that's high turns on Q6 turns on Q2 I got 12 volts positive on the negative side of the motor so now I have a current path through Q3 through the motor back through Q2 as far as the motor is concerned the direction of current has been reversed and thus the motor runs in reverse let's note something here never ever ever cut on A and B don't ever make A and B high at the same time because you will turn on Q1 you will turn on Q3 and that's a dead short from ground to power supply and things go boom in the night same thing on this side never ever turn on C and D do not make both of these high at the same time because Q4 will cut on Q2 will cut on and things will go boom and bang in the night and you will be repairing your project okay in the case of what I used earlier as I showed you with the uh, TIP 120 and 125 they have their own internal diodes that's what makes these makes these such an advantage but if you don't have built-in internal diodes you're going to have to add external diodes as shown here the next question is let's look at this circuit now a TIP 120 
which is the NPN type that we had before, could only handle 5 amps. You're not going to be able to handle 10 amps with it, are you? But here is the popular 2N3055. It can ha handle 15 amps with an HFE of 20. If I was to take what we've got over here, Q2 is the TIP120, and Q1 is the 2N3055. I ha it takes too much current, and Arduino cannot drive a 2N3055 directly. It, does, it would require about, in this, probably 500 milliamps. The Arduino can only supply 20. So I'm going to boost the current from the Arduino using Q2, a TIP120, to ramp the current up into Q1, and thus I have a 10 amp switch, or even up to 15 amps. It depends on the current rating of Q1 out here. Now I can use two of these in the bottom end of the previous H bridge to really boost that current up there for heavy motors. But what about up here? We can use a TIP120 in the place of what we're using Q5 and 6 over here for. But this time I can use it to switch on an MJ2955 um, bipolar transistor which is which will also handle 15 amps. These two modifications to the H bridge that you saw back there now I can run motors up to 15 amps up to probably up to about 60 volts. Hey that's a lot of current you can handle and I'm doing it for a few milliamps off an Arduino or Pickaxe I.O. pin. And that's that. Um, for more information on this I do have a web page specifically devoted to H bridges and you can see it on my website at www.bristolwatch.com Thanks for watching.